Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential series which demonstrates essential skills, tips and techniques that you will require for building ADF applications. In this demonstration you'll see how you can programmatically define partial page refreshing. My name is Grant Ronald and I'm part of the Oracle Development Tools product management team. So watch partial page refreshing. This is the ability to, for your ADF faces page to be updated without having to submit the whole page and without having to refresh the whole page. So in a simple example we could have whenever a new value is put into salary we want to automatically submit that value into our business service and that's using the auto submit feature. And we also have the ability to automatically refresh so on submitting a new salary we want to automatically update total salary or automatically refresh it on the page and that's done using a feature called partial triggers in ADF faces. Now this gives us a declarative way of defining partial page refreshing but there might be situations when you want to programmatically force a partial page refresh. So why do you want to programmatically define PPR? Well first of all it gives you the flexibility to define whenever you want refreshes to happen you can do this in code and there are also some times when the framework doesn't automatically refresh and so you might want to force PPR to happen. So how do we do this? Well in pseudocode we do the following. Within your view controller project you want to get a handle to the ADF faces context. This is the information about the current page. You want to be able to have access to the UI component instance which needs to be refreshed and then you want to make that component the target for a PPR operation. So in a little bit more detail we have something called ADF faces context which is an object and in that we have a method get current instance and that returns the instance for the current page the ADF faces context. We will also generate a, a method that allows us to get a handle to a component on a page and then we're going to call ADF faces context dot add partial target to add that component as being a target for PPR. So let's have a look at this in a demonstration. Okay here's a simple example when they have the employees table and I press the edit button we bring up a, a pop-up dialog using a task flow and we're using declarative PPR here so that when salaries change total salary will automatically reflect the change so that's using declarative PPR but when we submit that page it hasn't changed the value here in the table so we're going to programmatically ensure that that table has the PPR set and the way we do this is we'll go on to the edit emp button and we're going to add some code to the edit emp button that will uh, execute and refresh the table whenever that button's pressed. So the property we want to look for here is a listener called return listener which will fire whenever the result of pressing that button has finished. And we're going to create a manage bean and let's just give it a name my bean and the class name my class and there's the bean created and we'll also create a method so the name of the method will be called and let's call it refresh table so there you can see that's the code that will be called as a result of pressing that button or when the result of that button finishes the other thing we're going to do is select the table and there's a property called binding in the table and this exposes the table, the UI component, uh, as a method in this bean. So in my bean package I'm going to create a new property called, and let's give it something that's meaningful, cust table, customer table, and that will now create a method in the backing bean, my class, allowing me to physically access that UI component. So that's what get cust table will do. So let's go in and start writing our code. So the first thing I need to do 
is get a handle to the ADF faces context. So let's import. And ADF faces context equals a call to the ADF faces context object dot get current instance. And that just returns a handle or an object for the ADF faces context. On that object, so ADF faces context, we're going to call add partial target. And the parameter here is a UI component, and it happens to be that if we call get cus table, which returns a rich table, and rich table is actually a UI component class or a subclass of UI component. So let's save that. And we can go back to our page and run it. There's our page displaying. And let's select an employee and edit. And again, as we'll see the declarative PPR working, changing the salary and total salary automatically changes. But now when I submit, we will see that the table has been refreshed and you'll see the salary has automatically been updated as well. So with ADF Faces you have the feature of PPR which allows the partial update and refresh of your UI components. And this can be done declaratively using two properties, auto submit and partial triggers. However, if you need the flexibility to control PPR programmatically, you can do that through the ADF Faces context object and as a method add partial target. For more information, you can go to the JDeveloper page on OTN. Thank you very much for listening.